Yellowstone Geyser Eruptions, a geological analysis raising concern. Yellowstone National Park, renowned for its breathtaking geysers and geothermal marbles, has recently witnessed an alarming increase in geyser activity that has scientists on edge. The eruptions, characterized by extraordinary force and frequency, are not only captivating visitors but also sparking serious geological concerns about the stability of the region's subterranean structures. Yellowstone's geysers are fueled by a complex interplay of water, heat, and subterranean pressure. Beneath the park lies a vast magma chamber, a reservoir of molten rock that serves as the lifeblood of the park's geothermal activity. When surface water seeps deep into the earth, it encounters this heat source, turning to steam and building up pressure until it is explosively released through geysers like Old Faithful and Steamboat. While geysers are a natural expression of the volcanic forces beneath Yellowstone, a noticeable increase in their frequency or intensity could indicate changes in the magma chamber or the surrounding hydrothermal system. But those can be separated by many, many years with few or even no eruptions at all. In the past year, Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, has erupted with unprecedented regularity, reaching heights of over 300 feet. Similarly, geysers that were once dormant have sprung back to life, while others have shown unusual thermal activity, including changes in water temperature and mineral deposition. Scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, have observed subtle but significant ground deformation in some areas of the park, which could be indicative of magma movement beneath the surface. The increased seismic activity, including small earthquakes localized near hydrothermal features, has further heightened concerns. The bigger picture. Could this signal volcanic unrest? Yellowstone sits atop a supervolcano, one of the largest volcanic systems in the world. While geyser eruptions are not direct indicators of an impending volcanic eruption, they are intrinsically tied to the same geothermal processes. The heightened activity could signify increased heat flow or a buildup of pressure in the underground system. A key concern is the potential interaction between the geysers and the magma chamber. If significant changes occur, such as a large-scale release of pressure or a major seismic event, it could destabilize the delicate balance maintaining Yellowstone's geothermal system. The USGS has intensified monitoring efforts in response to the increased geyser activity. Advanced tools, such as GPS systems, thermal imaging, and seismic arrays, are being deployed to track ground movements, temperature changes, and gas emissions. So not only was it happening more often, it was happening about every 29 to 30 minutes instead of 40 minutes. Researchers are also analyzing water chemistry to detect shifts in the geothermal system's composition. Yellowstone's history offers a sobering reminder of its potential power. The last major eruption occurred approximately 640,000 years ago. It erupts every 600,000 years, and so therefore it's 40,000 years overdue. But in fact, if you average the eruption intervals, there's 2.1 million to... And while scientists stress that another such event is unlikely in the near future, the region's geothermal and seismic dynamism cannot be ignored. 17 million years, we've, we've just come and figured it out. Balancing wonder and caution. 
As scientists strive to decode the mysteries of Yellowstone's restless geology, the park remains a captivating yet volatile landscape. Visitors continue to marvel at its geysers, but the recent activity serves as a reminder of the forces at work beneath their feet.